Earlier you said the first human clone in the world was born here. Does that mean the Extend Machine was built in this hospital too? Hmm. I don't know about that. According to Madame, the clone research was being done by Moni, right? Although, they do have one thing in common. Mashiro Group is involved somehow. They talk out loud as they search the area, as if inviting me to answer. It's obvious what they're doing, but I decide to play along so they'll let their right. guard down. You two aren't wrong. This hospital was originally Mani's predecessor, known as Mashiro Medical Labs. Research and development for medical equipment, such as micro-machines, were conducted here. But one day, research on human cl cloning technology began, uh, began being conducted in secret. I'm sure you know why, Miss Yuma. Right. You're my father's orders, probably because my mother yeah. passed away. Yes. As a result, Extend Machines Unit 1 was created here. Mani was newly established, with the research and staff carried over later on. So when Sachika died... When Sachika was killed because of us, you wanted to bring her back to life. So you must have created the Extend Machine at Mashiro Medical Labs. Rinko utters apologetically. Is she just now feeling remorse for abandoning my sister? It's far no. too late for that. I'd like to point out, I didn't perfect the cloning theory or create the Extend Machine. A mediocre man like myself could never hope to achieve such a feat. You've seen footage of experiments at Mani during the Extend TV episode of on the Bella Moi. The doctor shown in that footage was the creator of the Extend Machine. I was there too, as an assistant. Yep, though you probably didn't notice. I did. Okay. Who exactly was he anyway? He seems to have a seemed to have a couple of screws loose. Hmm. That must have been Dr. Terashima. He was the director of Mani. A brilliant scientist who created many patents in nanotechnology and other fields of science. Listen. To add, he is Sachika and my, Sachika's and my father. What? 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 Father? What? Dr. Daichi Terashima. Yep. The man who only saw us for the extent of our talent. While we're at it, I'll just... I'll talk about the time I joined medical school and met my father. And I knew it. Months passed after that incident. I became a fifth-year medical student. Trying to find a way to revive Sachika was like trying to catch water with my bare hands. There was no one to guide me, and the more I studied, the more I was filled with impatience and despair. In the midst of all this, I was suddenly summoned by my father. I thought it odd, but I went to Mashiro Medical Labs, as I was told. There, I saw someone I never expected to see. Your 2010 room... Uh, your... 2010, room in medical, Mashiro Medical Labs. Huh? huh? Hello. Hello, Mamaru. Been a while. You haven't changed. As usual, you look like you're carrying all the misery, all the misery of the world on your shoulders. Wait a minute. Wait, wait, hold on just a minute. That girl standing by I your side. Introduce. Hmm? Oh, she's your new little sister, though I may, may as well introduce her. New sister? You had another child had with another child with Miss right. Hirosaka. I forgot some of this is voice acted. With Clara, <laughs> I suppose that's not too far off the mark. Here, Sachika, say hello. W what did you just I'm say? I'm sorry. Come on now, don't you know how to properly greet someone? <laughs> what? Oh, he's wearing a reckless sky shirt too. What's going on? Did you just say Sachika? Did you take a railgun to the face? Thanks for the fun reaction! Oh, yeah. I've heard you've been so absorbed in your self-studies lately, so I'm sure you have some idea of who or what she is. Ah! You, you mean she's a clone? Exactly! She's the world's first human clone created from Sachika's cells. You can probably tell by how much she's grown, but it's been about three years since you she was made. Know, you? Well, you've been wasting time, science has been making steady progress. But how did you get her cells? I've routinely conducted health checkups on her, so I have all of her genetic data, like her blood Don't samples. This, this can't be. She may be small, but I definitely see Sachika in her. Even her hair and eye color. Sachika. Is it really you? Sachika. <laughs> it's me, Mamoru. Remember me, your big brother? We used to live together. Look. This should go without saying, but she didn't retain any of her previous memories. Clone Sachika here is, com is a completely different person, just with the same genetic uh. makeup. 
but she's awfully lacking in emotion and quite a slow thinker. A defect. Unfortunately. A shame, but I'll be disposing of her. Disposing? You're gonna kill her? Mm -hmm. Yep, already accomplished my goal of surprising you, so no reason to uh, not to offer Besides. now. Besides, I want to retrieve Sachika for her brilliant mind and memories. You don't n have a need for a Sachika who doesn't know anything about herself, do you? But that doesn't mean you should just kill her. Let's forget about her and move on to the main topic. Mamoru, you have it. Don't huh? you? Have what? You know, the body. Sachika's B-O-D-Y. You took it the night of the funeral, didn't you? Can... Can I have it back? God, he's so creepy. If I extract memories from her brain, I may be able to recreate a perfect clone Sachika. How do you know about that? Did no, more importantly... He's gonna dispose of her. Listen. Mamaru, you could spend your whole life trying to bring Sachika back to life and never manage it. Handing her body over is the quickest way for you to get what you yeah. want. I'll I'll do it under one condition. In exchange for Sachika's body, let me participate in your research. Sure thing. Yeah, sure, that's fine. We're actually in the middle of moving to a new facility. I'm the director there, so I can get you in. No problem. Yeah. And one more thing. I want to take this girl Good in. Grief. You sure? You'll regret it, you know. The more time you spend with her, the more you'll realize she isn't Sachika. That's... I'll think about that when the time oh, comes. Sure. Ah, well, do what Bye. you want. But you can't take her... Take her to your place. Her existence is top secret, so we can't let That's her outside. Fine, right? Once we're done moving, this place will be turned into a hospital. So you can keep her here, okay? Yeah. Yes, that's fine. Alright, it's a deal then. Welcome aboard. That was my reunion with Dr. Terashima, as well as my first meeting with Clone Sachika. After graduating med school, I joined Mani, joined Mani and became a physician at Hirosaka Memorial Hospital. Oh, I get it. So... Effectively, he was spared whatever the destruction was of the base. I'm betting Terashima tried making a perfect clone of Sachika. Failed, and it wrecked the world. And so that's going to be the last level, is clone Sachika confronting her really messed up real version, maybe. Except for that, that doesn't account for the real memories. I'm kind of confused about that. We'll see how this goes. Anyway... After gradu graduating med school, I joined Mani and became a physician at Hirosaka Memorial Hospital. All to get my beloved Sachika back, and to watch over clone Sachika. But eventually I came to, came to regret my decision, just as my father had warned. I realized clone Sachika would never be able to replace the real Sachika. Okay, so we got the level 1 key. Let's see. Oh, I can't go there. Oh. So, is that cold damage? Oh yeah, it is cold damage. Well, I probably don't want to tank that too much. Grab Mamoru. Grab Yuma. Okay. Too many casualties. Even difficulty 3 is pretty rough here. Okay, so I can still move. Look at the map. I'm going to look around a little bit more. Then we're going to probably have to bail again. The next destination is Okay, so let me look. There's one room that I haven't been to, been into. That's this one. Got it. What's this? Pregnant woman's clinical record showing sedatives and blood tests. We? Okay, so we've still got that. Might be able to get in there. Yeah, I hear something in the background, nattering on. But I don't know... where. Okay. Ready? I don't know where these guys Full come power. from. It's actually a bit of a bother. Yeah. 
Okay, so that's security level four. So the thing I'm looking for is all the way down here. It's tough. Probably. Okay, so that gets us access to the upstairs. Which the doesn't account for that noise. weird noise. Well, do we go down one of the elevator shafts? No, it's it's in here. Is Where it not? There's a critter rolling around in here somewhere. And it's confusing. Because I can hear it, Look but I can't see it. Okay. Oh, so that's that's how we'd escape down. Is there anything else? We need the level 4 key to get into that other room. Uh, I could go up. Or you could go down. Oh. We did miss that one corner and whatever's on the other side of that one door. Uh, but, the but, next but, destination but. is... Or we could go onwards. Well, my inventory is getting pretty full. Like I, uh, gonna bother me that I hear something in here. This is not in there. Oh, well, that's actually a really convenient shortcut. But I, I truly have no idea where this, this dude is going to be. It might be one of those that we just have. Well, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go until my inventory is full or more people are dead and we're just going to return to base. I've got so many points that we'll pretty much never run out, and if I do run out, then we just leave. Ready? Ready? Okay, get this slappy hand. Concentrate. Okay. Ready? Full power? Ready? Yes. Well, yeah, they're still pretty durable. Which wide variety of uh wide variety here for patients of all ages to enjoy. Okay, let's just check that out. Ooh, another gathering spot. Seems I can't just force it open. Okay, secret door. I'm just gonna peer around for a second. There. Now is that hitting everything? No. Look at the I'm map. curious about why I turned that on. It doesn't seem like it's made this a difference. Okay, there's I'll the blue fruit. Back. Okay. Nice. And insulation sheets, cable ties. Okay. So this is not farming. Not even close. These are actually things that I needed. For quite a lot of stuff. Okay, so in that case, we want to... We want to grab party formation. Grab Rinko. Grab Yuma. Oh, not Yuma. Party formation. Not Zen. He died. Oh, is Rinko the only only one al left a lot? Okay. And we don't have the harvesting tool. Okay. Oh no, her inventory is full. That's that's the deal. I was wondering, it's like he should she should be able to like loot stuff out of this. Okay, can't harvest anymore today, and we're just gonna return to base. We are way too overburdened.
Okay, so we want to party formation, remove her. We can move. It's working out. It's still, it's still pretty deadly, but it's working out. So let's extend Zen. And we got the blue fruit, so I need to go get some other things. Death by Vampire Bird. There's a, there's a lot of things that I still got a Shigabane to. Which is gonna be a bit funky. <sighs> Cause yeah, we're just gonna we're just gonna get wrecked by things left and right, unless I keep turning the difficulty down, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. I I'll probably just stick on this one for now. It seems fair-ish. And we're getting goodies that we needed. Okay. But first and foremost, we wanna go here, drop off the sandals, the chicken breast, cable ties. Oh. Definitely don't need the curtain. Don't need the medicine. Okay. So, sword for him. Baseball bat for her. So, we should add Yuma to the party. And then we should probably go on a bit of a... Well... Do we rest up? We should get some food at the very least. Honestly, let's go with a really boring option of... Probably roasted rabbits? I mean, we've got a load that should be able to feed almost everybody. We also do have a bunch of... Let's see, we do also have a bunch of mushroom stuff all over the place. It's important to eat properly. Thanks for the meal. Not bad at all. Thanks for the grub. Okay, now That's we should rest. To be a bed. Cause at the very least, Rio is quite injured. And that's not great. Okay. Do we feed him again? Nah, he's probably fine, but let's feed him Not again anyway. Well, okay, and then is anybody else here particularly hungry? No. Because yeah, we're not, we're not resting at the hotel. At some point, probably once I've maxed that out a little bit more, I'm probably gonna go utterly bananas, uh, just resting and like getting everybody's bonds up. Okay, so we gotta go back to... Mashua Garden Tower. Because I need some driftwood. Oh. No, there's there's a lot. Okay. I'll take it. Got it. Such a color hold it. I'll take it. Does this look useful? Uh we just got a diamond? I'll take it. We might as we might as well get the rut rusty <laughs> kitchen knife. Okay, yeah, so apparently some really random crap can just this spawn in here. I'll hold that. Nice. Look out! I'm a little surprised. I should probably come back here more often, Maybe though. It looks like it hasn't capped out up. yet. Maybe we could use this. I'm it also looks like diamond is a fairly rare thing. Okay. Move everything over that can stack. Now we got a decent chunk of diamonds there. I think I got two. Okay. Yeah, might as, might as well just kill everything along the way. Wow, they go down in one hit. I mean, we are definitively getting stronger. As we've gone through the game, which is nice. Let's go. Got it. I'll take it. Yeah, look at all these like random spawn points. Does this look useful? I'll take it. This might be useful. That hurts. I can't go there. Or just like stuff. This might be I really useful. wish driftwood nice. would stack. Oh, it's too heavy. Even for me. I 
will pick it up. Did I hear something bigger <laughs> bumping around? Does this look useful? Look I thought I did, but I don't see I'll anything. Take it. Got it. I'll take it. Okay. Does this look useful? <laughs> I'll take it. Got it. Nice. Yeah, I thought I heard something useful. big bumping. But I don't see any big bumpers around here. Uh, I'll take it. Okay, well, hey. we get an insane amount of rock salt. Stop. Such a color, hold it. And all of these other things. Got it. I'm, I'm gonna have to come back. Oh, I'll it's okay. We, nice. we didn't want to get some more adults here anyway. Nice. This might be useful. I'll hold that. Okay, so driftwood is overloading us a bit. That's good, though. We kind of needed it. Okay, so let's just cycle these out. We might still be able to do this. I could also just, like, leave some of the drift driftwood behind. Because I think we only need a couple of pieces. Not this, like, obscene value that I've accrued. But yeah, let's, uh, let's actually go a little bit further. That hurts. For starters, because we've got this stuff. Nice. It seems like it's mostly just the same resources. Anything in here? No. Yeah, I might come back in uh, a couple of in-game days. Uh, and actually, uh, especially with adults. But come back in a couple of in-game days on, like, maximum difficulty. <laughs> this might be useful. Yeah. I'll hold that. And see what I can get here. Interesting. They even had an electro crab. Whoa. And one of these guys? This is a weird series of events. Nice. This might be it's too heavy. I was even not expecting me. one of those. Okay. But yeah, there's at least some things here specifically that I can grab. Got it. Nice. This might be useful. Not nice. as much on this beach, though. I'll hold that. This might be useful. I'll hold that. This might be useful. Nice. Okay. And then let's just return to base. Cost me some score. Don't care. I'm, j I'm just here to grab as much as I can. See, I would prefer to avoid coming back here often. Oh, right. Driftwood. Why does it not stack? It's because it's technically a weapon. It it should... We should have been able to turn Driftwood into a Cypress Stick. That would have been appropriate and a charming reference. Okay, so... Drop off the milk. Drop off the Driftwood. So we've still got... We've still got our gathering tools. And no more Let's junk. Yeah, out. perfect. Okay, so in that case, we want to go base, base expansion, bedrooms. Yes. Well, it looks a little bit better. Not much. So, we need somebody with more reform skill, but we can actually upgrade that. A couple more chicken feathers and we can actually max out the uh, kitchen too. Workshop needs lizard sheddings and bird beaks. Like, I think we might actually be able to get those things. Okay, so let's do learn skill. Who's got who's got some space for, uh... Reformer? Let's see. That should work. Base expansion. Whoops. Didn't mean to do that. Oh well. Doesn't matter. There's next to no point for it. Okay. Base expansion. Bedrooms. And bedrooms. Wow. The fact that I... I feel like I should have been able to get blue fruit a lot sooner than this. And it's kind of baffling that I wasn't able to. Well, bedrooms are maxed out. Bunking together will maximize bond levels. 
So I just need some chicken feathers to get the kitchen up, and bird beaks and lizard sheddings. And obviously we probably want to go get Haruto back. Well, those are some options. Probably should have paid attention to all of the immediate benefits from those. Okay, so we're going to do one more of these trips. Get characters up to adults, probably. But yeah, so we're, we're going to run up to uh, the gathering point in Monkey Tree, Tree, Treehouse Village. Got it. I'm just going to burn through them. Originally, I was so focused on not having time pass. Now I, I could care there. less. But I, I guess a lot of it had to do with the fact that uh, previous m my characters had really limited lifespans. Now they live uh, about huh? 20 days. I think it's 17, actually. Huh? Which isn't bad at all. I'll take it. Yeah. <laughs> I'll take it. Doesn't look like the resources spawning here are nearly as good. And I wouldn't mind doing like a really quick circuit through the, like the mall. Does this look useful? But I don't know if it would help that much. I should have considered doing this on difficulty five just to see if I could get anything different. I I don't know. Uh, my 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 yeah. schedule opens up a little bit more starting next week. Nice. So hopefully I'll have some free time to actually sit down useful. and uh, and check a couple of these out. This might be useful. Must might also like bust open cheat engine so it goes Is a little it faster. Carry this? Maybe we could use this. I will pick it up. I'm supposed to carry this. Okay. I'll take it. But yeah, I'm kind of surprised that, uh, I I'm kind of surprised that we didn't get that blue fruit, like, considerably sooner than we did. Because you really would think, like, let's grab Zen, Rinko, and Minimo. We might as well grab as much as we can while we're here. Uh, but you really think they would have given that, that to us considerably sooner, considering how easily I was able to get the, the remaining it. upgrades. What is it? Like, we- our it. bedrooms went from level what 2 to maximum mean? in one moment, effectively, and it's like... I- I wonder if they were supposed to give it to us at a considerably, like, earlier point in the game, and then just, like, didn't bother? Like, I feel like you almost should have been able to get that from Minimo's chapter, and... Nah, it didn't I don't know. I don't know. Game design is kind of weird. This, right? Game designers can be a, a bit on the absent-minded side of things. Okay, but yeah, we didn't get anything cool or useful out of that. So, party formation. Okay, and they are full up on rabbits. Unsurprisingly. Return to base. It's not like I have any points. So who cares? Okay. Drop those off. Drop those off. Okay. So that's good. Everything there is good. Do we have anything that I can craft now that we're here? No, we need more laundry poles and a bunch of other stuff. So I guess really what we what we need, let's go to base expansion. So I need bird beaks, chicken feathers, and lizard sheddings. Interestingly enough, I know the bird beaks we can get from those like little buzzy birds. Lizard sheddings. I don't know where we get hey. those. Well, either way. Let's go back. Okay, immediately we hear something. Well, 
It's not one of the shadow guys. It'd be interesting if they were unique monsters. Now that's security yeah. level four. So what we want to do is actually we want to go this way. Let's see. We want to go this way and we want to just go upstairs. Now if we see the birds, I'll go fight them. Okay, so that gets us almost a full complement of adults. If we see the birds flitting around, we go kill them. Where were they on the previous zone? Would you believe I've actually totally forgotten? Oh, they were in the school. I, I've like we're not lost, totally forgotten we? about Rinko's entire chapter. As weird as that might sound. Okay, so let's do this again. This I don't know if we need useful. adhesive mats, nice. insulation she sheets, or any of them, but I might as well get my hands on as many as I can. And then we'll go charge through. Yeah, didn't we get an adhesive mat from like a safe or something? I, I swear we did. Okay, Zen, Rinko. Minimo, there we go. I'll get it. We might need this. Let's see. Okay. But yeah, I thought I thought we got an adhesive mat from uh Let's take this. From like a safe or somewhere this, that right? seems like Let's somewhat notable. We need this, right? Let's take this. I'll hold it. And I was like, oh sweet. You know, I think we needed one I'll of these. And the answer is maybe we did, but it is certainly not the commodity that I thought it was going to be. Okay, Yuma. Sachika. Rio. Should be good. Uh, let's transfer all these back so they stack down. Perfect. Okay, now let's get to actually exploring this area. Okay, security level three. So we gotta get some key cards. Well, this is delightfully old school, except for the fact that it's got weeping angels. Ready? Ready? Full power. At least they're really slow. And also, these guys are very, very weak. Comparatively. Oh god, return trips here. Not going to be fun. Because all the doors are going to be open, so whatever the, wherever the weeping angels are, they're just going to be out in force. Let's mark it on the map. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if we've got another one of them. Oh, good. Rio needs to go to the bathroom. I think it's because I totally forgot to actually make anybody go to the bathroom. Alright, Rinko! Well, there was a bathroom on the previous floor. That's a bit of an oversight, though. If they all need to go, we'll just run downstairs. I do wish the time passing was actually, like, a slightly different mechanic, instead of based on, like, what level you went into. Level two, another door. Ooh. It's a defibrillator with jewels. Whoa. Yeah, I know I haven't been... <laughs> exploring things particularly well, or like checking them out. But my goal here is mainly to make sure, okay, disinfectant from the bag. My main goal here is to make sure that we're not getting mobbed by by enemies. Because that would, that would be bad. Huge map, by the way. Okay, so I'm, I'm at least safe to go through this. Okay, let's bust that up. Did it get it? It got it. Tough lady. Yeah, they... The level design definitely got a little ruder here. Careful. Not that big of a deal. 
Let's have a look, shall we? <laughs> 